Hello everybody and welcome to the first of many reviews of the new This Venture Camp season. My name is Silly Billy, but you can call me Billy. Real quick in case you missed the video in which I announced to be the voice of Trevor, this season we're gonna do things a little differently. Because I voice one of the hosts, that's gonna be real interesting when we watch the episode later, a blind reaction doesn't really have the same genuine reactions when you already know what's going to happen and who's going home. So instead, this season we will be hosting these This Venture Camp interviews, where me and a couple of really cool This Venture Camp guest stars go over the episode together as well as some other very cool tidbits and insider information provided by the juiciest of sources. And today we kick off this list of interviewed guests strong. He's one of the main writers of season 1 and voices not one but two characters on this Venture Camp season 2. Although he cannot hear you because this is pre-recorded, please give a warm welcome to Mr. Michael Kimbrough. Hey guys, hi, hi. I'm, I'm waving my hand in real life. So, welcome to the show, Michael. It's fun to have you on. Thank you. It's good to be here, Silly Billy. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm a big fan as well, but more so of the Disventure Camp, because I know that you are very much involved with the making of this new season, right? Yeah, um, so this season I am a writing assistant, a line revision person, one of those two titles. And yeah, as Billy said, um, last season, I was the voice of Oliver and the voice of Connor <laughs> in DC2. <laughs> That's epic. We get a little live demonstration of how it's done. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about yourself. What is your experience in voice acting? Was Oliver and Connor your first role? Uh, so I am a part-time voiceover artist, uh, writer, video editor, and producer. In terms of voice acting, um, this venture camp would would be, I don't know, it, it's down the line. My first real voiceover gig was uh, two years ago. It was called uh, Total Drama Reunion. Um, so it's in the same vein as here. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming a few people know what, what that is. Yeah. And <laughs> From there, I, I, I played Alejandro on, on that one little pilot. You're as ravishing as ever. And then afterwards, now now we're here, two years later. <laughs> oh man, that that's interesting. I didn't even know that. I believe there's still a version of that first episode uploaded somewhere, right? Because in somewhere, yeah, yeah. re-uploaded it. Yeah, unfortunately, if, if for the viewers that are not aware, a Total Drama Reunion was uh, another it was, yeah, a re reunion season of Total Drama. It was fan-made on YouTube, and then after episode one, which looked very promising, the lawyers of Total Drama unfortunately took it down. Uh, so I, I guess that must have been one big nightmare for you when this Venture Camp 2 got copyright struck, right? <laughs> you know what? It's so funny. It was like deja vu, and I was so mad during the reunion time, um, mm -hmm. and when it happened in this venture camp, I was just like, okay, it's happening again, it's fine. It, it kind of cushioned the blow to do it a second time. <laughs> yeah, and, I can't yeah, imagine. But, but it still sucked. <laughs> the the infinite curse of making something good, but total drama related. <laughs> oh yeah. I, it was, I, I, I get the frustration. I, I don't want to focus too much attention on reunion here, but I get the frustration very much because total drama at that point had not even announced a new season yet. So it was, how much years was it? I believe Redonkulous Race was 2015 and Reunion was 2019, 2020, something like that. Yeah, it originally just was started as a, a joke teaser, but then yeah. it did well, so Adam made the whole thing. Yeah, people were very thirsty for a new season and they just never gave it, but then also tried to take down the people that did try to give it to us. I mean, I get it. I get where I came from, but it was really sour. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, anyway, that's reunion, isn't that? Yeah, that's reunion <laughs> stuff. And now, <laughs> now we're here in the Disventure Camp. So you already had some connections within the Disventure Camp Season 2 team, or did you just audition and got the role that way? Uh, so my first involvement with Odd Nation Cartoons, surprisingly, was actually not Disventure Camp. Uh, not many people know this, but before uh, uh, Disventure Camp, there was a cartoon that Jared and Robert were working on. They're the two co-creators of Our Nation. And they, it was like a horror anthology cartoon. Um, and I auditioned for one of the English voices. I got in, uh, I was gonna play like two characters in two separate episodes. Um, and right before I was gonna start recording, they canceled it and then two. And I auditioned for that and we did, now we're here. 
There was a, a horror anthology season. That sounds really cool. I imagine it's nothing like Total Drama or This Venture Camp, right? No, from the little bits I've seen from like little sketch paper drawings that Jared sent us. <laughs> um, yeah, the art style was very different and it looked really interesting. Because I know oh. Jared, not Jared, Robert's a big horror fan. I'll, I'll ask Jared and Robert if they ha still have some of that material. I'll, I, I'm hoping I can show some on screen right now. If not, then enjoy this picture of a kitten. <laughs> Aw, that's so cute. And there's a good chance that he actually sent the, the footage and there's now a monster on screen and you're going, Oh, that's cute. Ah! <laughs> not the monster! <laughs> so this was before Adventure Camp, right? No, 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 no. This was actually after Adventure Camp. Um, oh, it was. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Adventure Camp was running when Total Drama Reunion was running. So oh, really? I was busy with that. Yeah. <laughs> and then now this Winter Camp Season 1 is about to start. We luckily have the episode a little bit beforehand, so we don't need to rush this in the weekend. Uh, but you play a big part in writing this new season, right? And how did you end up in this position? Much like uh, finding out what uh, Billy's real name is, it's a mystery. <laughs> um, <laughs> so last season, DC2, um, there was really only one person helping out um, in the writing department for the English. Um, obviously, they had like people for the Spanish zone, but for the English trans translation stuff, uh, Marks Horowitz, who most people know as the voice of Yule, the legendary uh, mm -hmm. man himself, he, he was the one who did most of the English translation line revisions. So I basically hopped on, I think, episode 12 or 13. So those are the only two episodes I really worked on. Um, but I helped uh, English revisions with like dialogue and stuff. I think Jer so. Jared just reached out to me because I think uh, Marx was like, Mar Mar we needed extra hands to make sure you know the finale was you know top yeah. notch. And after that, season one, Jared just reached out and he was want to do it again. I was like, sure. <laughs> but this time you you play a big part in in writing the storylines themselves, right? Or are you just revisioning it? Oh, okay. Um. Uh, yeah. I'll make it very clear. The the storylines and everything is on Jared. The only thing that I do is the scripts are finished by the time I get my hands on them. Um. They're just like Google translated because he wrote them in Spanish, and uh, then I right. have to go through and make sure all the dialogue and every scene like makes sense. Sometimes I like touch up like like. Like if dialogue doesn't work, I completely rewrite certain things. But story stuff, I don't have a hand in. Ah, okay. At this point, so if something sucks uh, story-wise, it's not my fault. <laughs> we'll blame oh. Jared. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> We're going to watch the first episode of season one in a second, but we viewers are impatient. Can you share a little <laughs> something already about a potential season three? Because I believe there was a season three announced. It's the most confusing thing. Um, Jared and Robert don't want don't want people to know that season three is all stars. Um, but they but they also kind of announced it themselves on the Patreon. It's it was yeah. for Patreon members only, but people oh. spread it like wildfire. So. I was I was so amazed because um, that's actually an interesting point that you're making. I got to keep the secret of being the voice of Trevor for so long, even though Patreon knew for weeks. I, I applaud the patrons that are watching this video right now because you guys are good at keeping secrets. Or well, at least you're good at keeping the secrets of who voices who. You're not that good at keeping the secret of the new season. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, unofficially, we have it semi-confirmed, but we all don't- will pretend that we don't know that there will be a third season. So, let's say, hypothetically, <laughs> that there's going to be a third season. It, are there already plans for that? Um, yes. Hypothetically, there are plans for a third season. <laughs> um, hypothetically, we, we are, uh, we are already in the process of, um, locking down casts, locking down um, some potential storylines and you know people might may be surprised that um, whether it's familiar faces we see whether it's new faces we see um, I think season three is gonna be a definite crowd pleaser ooh interesting sounds very yep. cool but for now <laughs> I believe we still have an entire season to go through so right. I am I'm really <laughs> interesting how the story has changed I know a little bit so far some tidbits here and there, of course, I voiced, I voiced the first couple of episodes now. Um, and I have actually not seen Adventure Camp before. So I'm going into it semi-blind in the sense that 
don't know what's going to happen here, but I don't know how much it has changed over the time. How's that for you? Have you seen Adventure Camp? Um, yes, I, I, I scanned it in one of my uh, drunk escapades. <laughs> Before we begin, I have one more question for you. Um, uh, it was, I believe, last week, a couple of days ago now, you uploaded a video to your YouTube channel, uh, which was, for the people who haven't seen it yet, who haven't been blessed with the magical voice of Michael Kimbrough, it was a cover of Out There from The, Nun uh, the Hunchback of Notre Dame uh, with Oliver as Quasimodo and um, uh, with Crystal as Count Frollo. I loved it so much. Just to live one But you need to tell me, what was the inspiration for that? Why, why, did, why does this exist? <laughs> why did man put man on the moon? Uh, it's, it's like <laughs> we just decided at one point that I just was listening to my... Um, I'm a bit of a musical nerd, and I was just listening to some musicals, and I was like, wouldn't it be funny if the DC people sang this? And then, I, you know, when I originally thought this up, I was like, this would be a really cool series. Like, what if I did, like, DC people and, and like made them force them to sing at gunpoint um, <laughs> and <laughs> for like different covers but and out there was just the one i chose for oliver and crystal because i thought it'd be safer if i started with something that i could do like something that i could sing and something that fit the characters but yeah i'd definitely be interested in uh continuing in fact like i um i don't know maybe you guys will see uh silly billy trevor <laughs> um, forced into doing one of these in the future. Oh man, <laughs> I would love to join. That that seems like a lot of fun. Do you know, uh, are there, I, I don't know how how well you know the other voice actors, but are there a couple of people that, that have a good singing voice? You know, I I, I wouldn't know because I haven't heard them sing. Oh no, Um. so the person who voices uh, Aiden from DC2, uh, Vyster, mm -hmm. um, or Brandon, Brandon Elk, he is a he's a professional singer apparently and i've seen his song covers on his youtube channel they're actually professional so they're not like me just screaming into a microphone they're actually like <laughs> professionally mixed and you All can right. tell um so that there's that so I, I am eager to work with him eventually yeah okay so the next song we might see could be an, an aiden james duet <laughs> you know wouldn't that be great it's just the voice of james uh Jose but Luis Badal, he's like impossible to hold of, so oh. we'll try to figure it out. Well, Jose, if you're watching this, we need it to happen, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jose, if you're watching this. <laughs> Just do a, do a cover of um, From the Lion King, Can You Feel the Love Tonight, but then with Aiden and James. Oh my god, don't tell me. Oh, that yeah, could Jose, be so we'll fun. Leave our, I'll leave my email in the description of this video. Um, <laughs> Watch out what you're inviting. He's you're you're putting a big risk here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, awesome. So, what do you say we get this video started? Oh yeah, people have definitely tuned out at this point. They're like one three. I, I hope ready. not. I'll I'll put a little timestamp <laughs> to skip our 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 chatter, but maybe maybe I'll put it a little too late so they have to get invested first. <laughs> Oh god, this is so bad for retention. I have the video popped Woo! up. You can see my screen, right? I'm so hyped up. Yes, everything's, yes. everything's uh, together. Me too. Just see silly billion action. Let's go, guys. Uh, this is going to be so weird. <laughs> I'll try to uh, <laughs> to put a, a duck on screen whenever I am talking in this interview because I think it might get confusing really quick when Billy is talking and when Trevor is talking. <laughs> Three, two, one, bam. Welcome it's to so this smooth. venture cam. Oh, it's me. The place where anything can happen, even if it's There's most likely not good. We are There's miles away Stephen from Gordon civilization. Well. It's so it's so funny already. Oh man, <laughs> I love it. Surrounded by an unexplored forest. The duo. This won't be a walk in the park. Let's hope that the participants are prepared for the worst, because that's exactly. Oh, what Derek. <laughs> Admittedly, it's not paradise. Oh my God, Steven, you're, you're worry, killing it, man. Yeah, is true. Trevor. Good hands. I'm Trevor McGregor, and this is my hosting partner, Derek Johnson. We will do our best to make sure that all of our competitors have the worst experience possible. <laughs> what Derek is trying <laughs> to say is, on this show, nothing will be easy. Each week, our campers will have- Hey, it's you! <laughs> it's Oliver! He's here! Always the judgment of their teammates. Wait a, I mean, wait, wait a minute, how does that make sense canon-wise? 
Oh wait, no, I guess uh, Oliver was an intern in in the pre season prior to this Venture Camp 2, right? Exactly. I I've been an intern in previous seasons, you know. Yeah, true. Like, oh, that's a nice little cameo right there. And this is just yeah. the beginning. So, if you are ready to see a bunch of strangers fight nice. for a million dollars... I love his hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh my Don't god, these two are the most attractive posts I've ever seen. Cam. Probably. God, the animation and the lighting engine is so smooth. It's, it's insane. It's kind of insane how we go from to this. Like, that, the animation's really, like, fired up. Yeah, right? It's such a big improvement. Ooh. Woo! <laughs> one. The thick boy Jensen in the front, I see. <laughs> the thick boy I Jensen. I <laughs> God, I and love his voice so right. much. <laughs> Please welcome. Yeah, Will. good job, LJ. Ashley. <laughs> National Girl Scout troop leader. I'm going to win the hey. million dollars. And Ken I'm going Coy, to my do girl. it for the girls. I'll do whatever it good, takes. Good, good to see you again. Next up, you will be the teal team. <laughs> Miriam is just so funny to me. Just <laughs> the entire idea of Mar Miriam being this bitter old woman <laughs> on the show. I love it so much. Currently looking oh, at yeah, the she, she's winner of this season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she Please might be grad. mine too. I'm I not sure. I know perfectly well how to play with the minds of these losers. I once won a beauty pageant because the other contestants got mysteriously sick. <laughs> oh God, it's Yule. Is as good as mine. Welcome, people! Are you ready for a once-in-a-lifetime adventure? I always love your enthusiasm, Trevor, but let's be clear. They're gonna need a lot more than enthusiasm to survive here. Oh, don't listen to Derek. He's just in a bad <laughs> mood because he forgot his coffee in the morning. <laughs> this place is amazing, and I'm sure everybody favorite. will have an unforgettable yeah. <laughs> experience. Dude, they have such a fun Great. dynamic already. I call top buck. Hopefully we get to Gabby near the lake. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mention, there are no cabins. In fact, all there is is a vast forest. What the who now? <laughs> and where are we going to sleep? Why didn't you tell us this before we came here? For the next few weeks, your only supplies will be a tent, a machete, and a pot. You will not have cabins, food, or any supplies. You'll be looking out for yourself. There will, however, be oh, a way whoa. to get extra supplies by winning heavy. the challenges. I like it. Here's a map for each team, which will guide you to the area where you'll find your tent. That's so much more survivor-like. Yeah, that's yeah, a big deal. Yeah, yeah, true. In general, yeah, in general, it, it feels more survivor than total drama this season. It's true. I love everything about yeah. summer camps. The nature, the sounds of the birds, the fresh air. <laughs> oh god. Well, I love positive it. Positive attitude doesn't hurt. <laughs> Could someone take my suitcase? I'll pay whatever. Bloody thing. My girl Rachel. Ton. I know like Don't half worry. his cast, they're all reunion I got people. You. <laughs> oh right, yeah. <laughs> I can also help you with yours if you'd like. Oh, There's my boy worry. Derek. I can handle it. <laughs> How much further? According to the map, we're two kilometers away. Oh, do you need me to carry your luggage? I don't need your help. <laughs> I would never trust yeah, she anyone need your help, here Jake. with my no. luggage. I watch these types of shows. Can I ask you something? Why are you dressed like that? What Excellent question. Another young whippersnapper who loves to dress for attention. <laughs> Actually, I can't get much sun exposure. My skin is a bit sensitive. Okay. Hey, little girl. What's your name? My name's Fiore. What are you doing here? I don't know. <laughs> My parents are a little short on money, so they agreed to send me here in exchange for payment. Wow, that's Yikes. kind of that's cool. horrible. Yeah. And what's your name? Yeah, exactly. You haven't introduced yourself. Not a talker. Nice to meet you, I guess. Ah. The, the silence kid. Quite deadly, like man. to know yeah, yeah. the teams and why mine got stuck with the old lady, a child, and four guys who look like they've never seen sunlight. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> How are you comfortable wearing a suit out here? I'm used to it. Oh my gosh, is that Kashmir? Do you know how many animals had to die for that? Don't worry, love. It ain't from your house, cat. If you don't care for animals' life, 
I might not care for yours. <laughs> hey, hey. Gabby Guys, is insane. <laughs> we're here to work as a team. So let's keep it together and move on, okay? Sometimes I can get a little upset, but it's something I couldn't control. So I prefer to see the positive side of things. Okay, Ooh. I can make the fire, but it will take me about 30 minutes. I think there's a faster way. What's on your mind? Oh, wow. Oh, clever. That's smart. <laughs> Like the sexy librarian. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did it! <laughs> okay, I'll take Nick to the lake for water. Hey. Ashley and Will, can you go explore the area and see if there's any food? That was some highly yeah, flammable there's... wood, by Could the way. You tend to the fire? <laughs> sure. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Gabby's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> right. Come on, Jake, blow. <laughs> Blue Jake. I love that Gabby's always dialed up it. to a hundred. Well done. Yeah, yeah, for real. That was quick. How come you're so good at this? Um, I watched a survival Ooh. show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds legit. Oh, I love your hair. Do you take care of it with any special product? Thank you. Not really. Just a natural him. conditioner. Hmm. What are you reading? Hmm. It's just a book mm -hmm. about survival in isolated places. It should be helpful. Yeah, sounds like useful. Reading? Thanks for calming the situation <laughs> with Gabby. <laughs> it scares me a little. I know. It seems to be a bit complicated, but we can deal with it. I admire everything you do. I wish I had learned these kinds of things. You never went camping? No, I haven't been out of the house that much. Why? My parents... <laughs> Kind of overprotective. You still live with your parents? Oh. How old are you? No. I'm 26. I'm 26 and still with your parents? Just yeah, it, it's maybe Should time to move are? out, buddy. <laughs> I'd say that'll work. <laughs> this forest is huge! Do you come from an urban city? <laughs> yup. I figured. You look a little I'm actually not the biggest here. Nick fan, but... <laughs> I don't know, Derek's performance kind of helps me shit him a lot more now. Yeah, true, true. I quite like Nick so far. I haven't mm -hmm. really seen what he's gonna do just yet. Mm -hmm. I am. I've never been to these kind of camps. What about you? I live in a place very similar to this. Believe me, everything will be fine. What's the worst that could happen? An animal attacking us? We do not find any food and starve to death? A forest fiber wiping us all out? <laughs> Don't overthink it. About the food, <laughs> it's already solved. Look! Guys, we found water. Did you get food? We just found this. I'll go up. Even if survival is an important part of this show, winning is all about making friends and alliances. I love that Lil is so low key. Hey, I know me yeah, a true. For this, but <laughs> she I'm sounds like she just came from a concert screaming. <laughs> I see two are getting along, just like Nick just and I. lost her voice. How about we make an alliance? That's a great idea. Sure, we can protect ourselves and get the four of us to the merge. I'm in. Oh, look at that! We already have our first alliance. Right, and they're four out of the seven, so they have the majority on their team. Now. Yeah, true. So that leaves who again? Welcome to your first challenge. So that leaves that's bad news for Alec, Ellie, twist. and I think Gabby. Twist. Yeah. But I get dizzy oh, yeah. easily. Yeah, those guys. Sick. <laughs> Very right good. Now, you're gonna one person <laughs> off each team. What? That's right. We will give you a piece of paper. Oh, what a twist. You must twist. write the name of the person you want out and deposit it in these ballot boxes. Oh, no. Voting out someone so Damn. soon. I thought we'd have a challenge it's harsh. first. I guess it'll be between me and Imagine Fiore. going through the audition process and coming all the way out here just to get voted out before a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lil's plotting. Lil's official villain of. Oh, look. oh, already? She's starting soon. Gabby looks like she's up to something. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love Fiore still holding her vote. Yeah. Gabby from the Fiore not get to vote? That's from the teal team. Unfair. Why me? <laughs> You will pay for that! Oh, wow. God. Aww. I'm sorry, but at least the old lady <laughs> knows how to read. Girls took a fat <laughs> L. Choose the strength of the team. Fiore, Gabby, 
you're kicked from your teams. But not from the competition. Right, good game, guys. Go to the opposing team. Oh, shoot. Yippee. Yeah, they get to stay. God, that Did would be harsh if they were just eliminated. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> Thanks, that would have been fun. I hope to hell. Yeah. <laughs> Let this be a reminder to you all. Everyone's so hyped for Fiore and Gabby this season. Yeah, I believe Fiore is is one of the, the the main finalists of the Adventure Camp season, right? It would be wild if she just goes home in the first half episode. She just goes home. <laughs> just, no, no, so we weird. don't need her this season. Forget all about her. Fiore, who? God. Are, Jared. And having a bad one could send you home. Time to start the challenge. That's and true. I have a surprise for you. No mm. one will be eliminated today. Only this time you will play for a reward. Sleeping bags. Oh, yeah. I love it so much when a first episode chill. doesn't have an hey, elimination just happens, yet. We can always find a replacement on the waiting list. Allow me to yeah, explain it gives the more time to, to Each like, team will have an area marked with a flag. Yeah, exactly. One team member will be in charge of holding it while the others have paintball guns to attack the opposing team and thus protect oh, their flag. flag. The first team to steal the opposing flag and bring it to the central zone gets the reward. Any questions? Um, if we get paint on us, are we out of the challenge? Nah, paintball guns are just for self-defense and distracting others. You can walk to your bases and we'll give you a few minutes to plan your strategy. I guess this is the part where the patron thank you comes in, but it's not in this version just it's yet. The black so, <laughs> yeah, it's the void. <laughs> you know what that? You know what that black screen makes me want to do? What? It makes me want to sign up for the Patreon for Odd Nation cartoons. Yeah, it, it has that patron sign up feeling. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, the ba the blackness really yeah. contrasts that inner feeling of us all wanting to throw a little money at, towards Odd Nation cartoons for providing us this amazing show. And trying to help us make more of it. It's, it's weird how it does I'm, that. I'm glad, I'm glad we both see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, we, we agree. I think yeah. I think all the cultured people will agree with us as well. So if you are a cultured person, then sign up for the patron now. Oh, that that was Trevor right there. Do what he says. <laughs> Miriam has the flag while the girls protect it. We're going to attack and try to steal theirs. Okay. Will and I can stay here looking after the flag in Fiore. Sounds good. The rest of us can go attack. The challenge starts. They got the kid and the yeah. old woman defending the flag. <laughs> Excellent strategy. <laughs> Sounds like they didn't like you very much on the other team, huh? I mean, I guess I they wouldn't be very so. useful in an offense. I uh, understand so why they hate your personality. They don't seem very so useful much, at all. <laughs> but you know, I can tolerate Whoa. you. Whoa. <laughs> Would you be my friend? No, but we can be allies. <laughs> so, Great. better than nothing, I guess. What hmm. do you say, Miriam? Girls Why is Gabby lives? not wearing goggles, but the other as two are? As long as it's not oh, me, good I'm question. Good, good call. Odd Nation exposed. Yes, <laughs> she's the fan of the wear. Didn't match the fit. <laughs> they shouldn't behave like that with a girl. How old are you? I'm six. My little sister's the same age. Don't God, worry. She's so we'll young. You. What's a little girl wow. doing participating in this? I can't even imagine my little sis in such a dangerous show. Did you hear that? The other team is coming. This is what we'll do. You attack and keep them distracted. I'll take another path the and boys. steal the flag. Yeah. Right, go. Alliance number two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe. In the original, Tom, Jake, and Dan were all a threesome. Oh, shoot. Uh, what? <laughs> a, a, a threesome are, alliance. Oh, as, as okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting <laughs> season uh, there. <laughs> no, didn't mean that in any other way. Ooh. Will, go call the others. Got him. She should call foul. That's, that's foul play. <laughs> Hands over the flag. Oh, bro just dips. Okay. Ellie, Nick, cover me. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say they're just gonna Alex? sit What's there. Alex supposed to do? Um, <laughs> just wait. <laughs> <laughs> Alex just sitting back there. What, you didn't give me something to do. Oh. Nice. Ow. Good moves. I cannot hey. see anything. Just give me the flag, and no one will get hurt. Are you threatening me? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh. oh. 
Did we just get a, a little snippet of Tom's hair there? No, got it. You can't cut down those then trees Miriam's just sleeping. <laughs> yes. The, the queen the must nap. I broke all his windows and covered the whole place <laughs> with paint. I didn't want to, but I had to. You can't do that kind of things to nature and get away with it. And the worst thing is okay. that the next day I receive a call from Gabby. They are taking quiet. it. Gabby's <laughs> insane. <laughs> Oh shoot, who's gonna get first? Uh, is it gonna be? Is it gonna be? Tom is the first to arrive! Oh! But that's not the correct flag. What? Rut row. Oh, look at that. Oh shoot, so Fiore. Team the win. They didn't want me on their team. How does it feel to be humiliated by a six year old girl? Dang! <laughs> Hell yeah, prove him wrong. They got him. Wow, Fiore. How did you come up with a false flag? It wasn't me. Um, <laughs> Alec gave it to me. <laughs> right, Alec? Alec. Well, how <laughs> yes, dick all in this I challenge. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let's see. You can come get your sleeping bags and Easiest Dubsky in the world. <laughs> I think about it, Alec really did nothing that challenge. Yeah, to probably. <laughs> I didn't feel included in the other team, and everyone here made me feel welcome. Good night. Oh, everyone good gets night. the wrong uh, That's well, cute. Fury. Yeah, it's cute. Will, are you okay? Yeah, it's just, uh, this is kind of embarrassing, but I'm a little scared of the dark. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. You're scared of everything. <laughs> true, true, true. Sorry <laughs> You'll get used to this. Everything will be fine. Thanks, Ashley. They're kind of cute. Why did you give me the credit for that fleck thing? Yeah. <laughs> it's just that couple. I oh. prefer to go unnoticed. Interesting. Okay. Well done, girl. You gave us the win today. Could you keep that little secret for me? Sure. I'm good at keeping Damn, secrets. Damn, Alec with the dogs out for free. <laughs> These assholes are really buying into the story that I'm a helpless little girl. In the end, all this works for my benefit. Oh, By the time God. I know what I'm up oh. to, it'll be too late. I was acting, Rosa. <laughs> oh, boy. No, no, not again. <laughs> she's... She's... Oh shoot! Uh, well, hello. Wanted. That was the bus man, right? Yeah. Dang. Oh my god, there's our name. Yo. Oh, it's me. Putting it on the voice cast did fantastic. Yeah. There's Trevor. Oh goodness, that was such a fun episode. Honestly, yeah, the voice actors hit all out of the park. Yeah. True. Oh, that was so fun. Oh, man. Ugh, it's such a man. good episode. I love it. I'm very invested already. I can't wait to see the the, the general reaction. The yeah, true. I'm, I'm so hyped. Billy, your Trevor is phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's it's so weird to... Because I've, I've done voice work before, mostly for my own channel, right? But it's so weird to, to hear my voice over... A different character it's such a weird feeling yeah since you did it you kind of don't buy it at first that like that looks fake yeah first. true how was that for, was that the same for you with uh, oliver and and connor yeah um i mean by then i was used to it but but like my earlier work when i first started out for sure that was what i felt oh yeah true yeah it, it really depends on like how similar it is to your regular voice the more closer it is the more you feel like that just sounds like me. No one's gonna buy that someone else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of true. I, because I imagine if for Oliver in your case, it's it's quite a, a special voice. I don't imagine you go around to the walking like Oliver all the time. <laughs> Not unless I want to get beat up. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> oh man. Oh wait, there was more. Yeah, I completely forgot because this is me. I I do the the patron read. Did you, uh, Billy? Did you have any trouble us. pronouncing any of these names? Spice yes, so much. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's there's Mr. one that I really liked saying. Tam loves you and his spicy ass. That's the one. <laughs> there we go. 
Yeah, that's that's for <laughs> Tam, one of our uh, writers. Narrow. Thank you all so very, very much. Mwah, mwah. No, you make the show amazing. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> there was the kissing part in the script. <laughs> no, no, it was uh, if if I wanted to improvise the first and the last line, um, I I could, and then I just gave it a couple of takes. And I just, uh, I, I let them choose which one they went for. So, I believe there was also one in there which was more in the style of the Silly Billy goodbye with the, uh, this has been Silly Billy, or this has been this venture camp and remember, blah 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 blah, something like that, like how I end my normal videos. Uh, and then there was this one as well, and I love both of them so much. <laughs> it's really fun that he went through the effort of, of animating the, the, the hand kisses as well. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I love that. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching as well. Uh, if you want to uh, w get more of this type of content, then you know what to do. Subscribe to Odd Nation Cartoons, of course, so that they can continue this lovely show. And when you're busy subscribing anyway, just subscribe to the Silly Billy channel. Then you can get more of these types of interviews with so many more cool guests. I have a, a whole lineup already of a lot of the voice actors and a lot of the people behind the screens ready Locked and loaded for another interview just like this. But for now, Michael, thank you so much for joining me. Um, do you have any particular channels to plug yourself? Then this is your moment. So you guys can, uh, if you guys would like to see more of me, um, I have a YouTube channel, Kimbro Entertainment. Um, come check it out there. It's, it's, it's a bit of a silly fest, uh, like, like Silly Billy over here. And also, more importantly, subscribe to silly billy this man works so freaking hard to entertain you guys um the least you could do is hit that sub button hit that notification bell oh what no this was supposed to plug your channels not mine <laughs> i already got <laughs> oh, my <yeah>. turn <laughs> exactly and then like um yeah and, and subscribe to odd nation cartoons you guys saw what they did it's phenomenal <laughs> yeah yeah it's 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 true they work really hard to get the show going and oh man I can't wait yeah, for the next but, episode. But thank you so much, Billy, for having me. Yeah, thank you for coming on. It was a, a real blast. Hell yeah. <laughs> and to the people watching, I thank you very much for watching as well. This has been Silly Billy, and remember that Alec did absolutely nothing there. Out-oop! <laughs>